Mr. Extra here. I know you see those binders. They're looking pretty good. They got some really good binders. This is Dueling Guard sponsor. Go check them out. Um, our uh, discount code or promo code at checkout is Team Extra. One word, one capital T, one capital X. But you guys should go check out these binders because you should. They look amazing. You should check them out. Do it for the content. Do it. Hello everybody, it's Kareem from Team Extra and I came with the um, post ban list pearly deck. Sadly we got one hit on the ban list which was uh, limited, um, Delicious Memory limited to one. But I guess I tried to figure out how to play it now but it should be very simple. Nothing has really changed much. Um, as for the monsters, you're playing uh, three pearly and three pearlily. So the first um, pearly, also known as white. Uh, white one where it does a normal special summon, it um, excavates the top three um, cards of your deck, and if it's a pearly card, you get to add it to your hand, then sh um, put the rest of the body of your deck in any order. The black one says on special or uh, normal summon, you get to add a non-pearly quick play to your team. Uh, for the XYZ stuff, this one, reveal you reveal a quick play from your hand, and this one you uh, target from graveyard. Um... Other monsters, also no, more like hand traps, um, three drone lock perk, literally the best hand trap for this um, format, an upcoming format. Uh, three Valor, so if when I'm drawing off like Nor or Plump into Nor, I can like see something that'll interrupt my opponents then drawing the Emperor. Uh, three Ash, Ash is still good this format. I just believe that it's not as good as like you know, drone lock bird, but it does get the job done. And then the last two for the hand trap lineup would be um, two Ghost Ogres. Ghost Ogres are really good against the mirror and just some um, decks right now. So, yeah. Um, I love it. Uh, for uh, Monster Board Breakers, you just run three of the um, light kaiju. I, I want to run this in here because what you can do is you can kaiju um, their board, put in the EMZ zone, and then just relinquish it. So, it's a free 33 B. 3300 beater on your side of the field. Is there a reason you're using that one specifically? It's cheap. Um, so for now, the quick play lineup, we run the newly limited Delicious, delicious, <laughs> sadly. Your um, only memory. Three Sleepy and uh, three uh, Pretty Memory. I want The one thing I want to say about these two, these two are the ones that get... Like, help you get started in the draw phase. These are the only ones you can activate in the draw phase when you have nothing on your field. So I believe that, like, these are the best ones that you have. Delicious used to be a big major part of it due to, you know, it makes plump, plump, um, equips thing. You attach one to it, problem solved, and you make Nora with it. Um, for the other, for the other one we have, um... Happy, this is the one you just like, you know, make. I'm usually not using this one unless I'm going second and OTKing my person, my opponent a lot. But this card is still really good. It still gets you into combo. All right. And then for for the like last spell cards that I run for Pearly is one street and then three uh, my friends. I might bump this up to two, but I, I'm thinking of keeping it at one because I really don't want like I want to I want to see it in my hand, but I don't want to like you know add it off of anything. And then this is just self-explanatory. Um, on like you activate it, you pay five, you get to reveal uh, three pearly pearly cards, any of your choice except this one. And then then your, your opponent randomly chooses one. You add it to hand. Uh, both of them state like both of them say when the X Y Z leaves the field, this one will special summon a level one pearly from your deck or graveyard. And this one will um, target three um, equip equip spell cards from. From your deck to your, from your graveyard to your hand, my bad. And then finally for, for just extra spells that I run, main decking three dark or no more. Uh, this is a must because you you go second and you auto lose to pretty much any like negation board, <laughs> almost every any negation board. And then finally, this is what what I'm playing right now as of for the new pearly stuff. Three, uh, three pearly elite because with this, this just gets you have you uh, have a better chance of getting to Nor. And I like it that I like it because now we don't have delicious. Um, on to the extra deck. Um, for the uh non pearly like uh, rank ones, we run 
um, a Princess Sprite, a, a Nightingale for going second, you know, quick mix, quick double tap make Zeus, and then we have a um, Robin for going um, going first. You make this, you just get extra. Um, I was going to say going third. No, I was not going to say going third. <laughs> but this is for going first. And so what you can do is every time they special summon, you can just, instead of using a Nori, you just use, um, you, you detach one off of this to spin one back. For now into the pearly, I play one because I don't see you needing two in the deck. If they hit this, it's like, okay, you can still make Nor. Like, they won't hit this out of your extra deck. Uh, then I run two plump, even though we have only one field spell. I think two is still mandatory. Uh, then I run two beauty because I feel like running into this more. I might drop this to one because I'm not really going into this often. But right now it's at two. And those are for the rank two pearlies. For the uh, rank of three sevens, I run one happiness. It's just to finish games if I like if my board's broken and like they don't have anything on the field, I can just make this, kill them real quickly. But this will probably change to the um, the winged beast um uh, rank one that just says it cannot be sort of unaffected by card effects. Then we play the pretty much mandatory two X Pelinor. Hell. Yeah. Best card. Everyone hates it. I love it. We hate Nor. Yes. Um, next we play one downer, one Zeus, because that's the only thing I can afford. So serious, sadly. And then for, for I play Lynx. I play one Relinquish because you can um, give them a Kaiju take and they take your Kaiju back. It's free. And then you play um, one Nightmare Phoenix for the um, Floodgates or any like field spells that you want to try to get, attempt to get rid of. Um, for my side deck, obviously we have to play... Uh, three bell for what was honestly math mech now is gone pretty much and then you have gimmick puppets still so that stops that um for also for going second ghost mourner for the uh mirror match uh just stop them in the draw phase so when they special summon and then i want to play three of these but i only have two at the time two vanny fiend vanny fiend just shuts out all decks this format it will accept flunder but i haven't seen any flunder this format so this is just a very, really good card. And then for four else that I'm really liking right now is three XY, XYZ imports. You you go first, you make Nor, and your Nor's so big that you can just flip this over and just, you know, uh, take any any monster on their field at the time. Uh, and then we play Feather Duster, two Cosmics. And then this is just for back row decks or just back row removal. And then finally for my last thing, I play I play a change of heart and a call by the grave. I was originally playing this in the main deck because it was just another like dark or more. I tried to like force out some negates with it. And then call by the grave is just probably just another um, gimmick puppet gimmick puppet removal, just to be safe. Uh, but yeah, that's my pearly deck profile for the uh, post ban list coming up. Um, if you guys liked it, please like and subscribe, and thank you guys. Got any shout-outs? Uh, Team Extra, and to our um, sponsors at um, Dueling Guard. Yes. Yeah. Please, thank you guys, and I'll see you guys later.